Hi Aries, welcome back. This is going to be the You Versus Them spread for the week of December 17th. Um, so Aries, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, uh, and next steps are. And then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are. Um, this is a general read, so it's not going to apply to every Aries walking the earth. But if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also check me out uh, on my other social media accounts. I have a Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, all Tarot Time with Dana. And those links are in the description box below. I uh, will be going live this weekend. And if you join me and you get in the chat, I might choose you to do a reading on. I do pick people at random in the chat and do quickie readings for them. So if you subscribe, you'll get that notification of when I'm live. So don't forget that. Um, in addition, <clears throat> I'm going to start changing it up. So I'm going to do the in-depth you versus them spread every other week instead of every week. And I'm going to do a general spread every other week. So I'll, I'll do a you versus them. Then next week I'll do a general. Then a you versus them. You get my You get my drift, okay? So hopefully that um, captures those of you who may not be um, necessarily in a relationship or have something going on in the love sector, okay? So let's get started. Um, Aries, let's see what kind of energy uh, you have. Because this is general, it can go vice versa. Also keep that in mind, okay? Aries, overall energy for the week of December 17th. Hmm. Aries, you might have a lot of vacillating thoughts this week. And what I mean by that is you might be <laughs> like in your head thinking, well, on one hand this and on the other hand this. And therefore, no, actually no decision is being made um, because... On the one hand, this, and on the one hand, this. So I feel like you're having a hard time making decisions. A lot of you um, have a lot on your plate. You might be juggling quite a few responsibilities this week. Some of you are trying to decide whether or not to communicate um, some information to someone. Or there might have been... Yeah, communication that kind of puts you in this state of vacillating between, I want to say, what's comfortable versus what's next, or something to that effect, okay? This could have been online communication or text, phone call, whatever, because you have the Knight of Swords. So that talks about uh, quick communication here, okay? Let's see. Person external to Aries. Oh, this is a love reading, but love can apply, guys, to any family, friends, coworkers, partners, exes, whatever resonates during the reading, okay? So I do feel like, Aries, the person external to you, you've got the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So they might be feeling a little bit, I feel like this person feels lost. <laughs> you know, I feel like they're trying to gain some sort of knowledge or enlightenment. Um, I do see communication between the two of you. So like I said, there was some type of communication recently because it's in both energies um, that kind of makes them feel like at a loss and it puts you, Aries, in this state of like, vacillation, you know, not really knowing which direction, you know, you're headed here. For a few of you watching, um, the person external to you left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold.
I do feel like the person external to you, Aries, their overall energy this week is more of a logical um, approach. They, um, I feel like they're trying to think of logistics, you know, versus feelings. So that is interesting. Aries, how you view this person? Alrighty. Aries, your cards are flying out. I always feel like every time I do Aries, your cards, your cards always fly out. I always say that Aries has like such an intense energy. It's one of the, to me, it's the most intense of the fire signs. Aries is. So. <laughs> um. Aries, how do you view the person external to you? I feel like either you and this person have had a recent major conflict or they've had this with somebody outside of their relationship. Okay. But I feel like Aries, even though, you know, this person can be... Somewhat stuck in their ways, a little bit stubborn. Of course, this could be your energy too, Aries. I feel like you kind of share that energy. I do feel like the person external to you is very important to you. I feel like you put them on a very high pedestal. And um, I feel like either you're waiting on communication or the next steps with this person are they or you. But I just said that in your overall energy that there was like a vacillation here of like, okay, well now what, you know, what's next. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you watching, you have your eyes set on the prize. You know what I'm saying? So there's definitely somebody in your midst that, um, you know, you may have other options, but I feel like this is your, your person, you know? Um, for a lot of you, this person may be at a distance from you, not all of you. But you do have uh, the Five of Wands here and the Nine of Cups and how you see them. So I feel like this person can be combative. It's like on one hand, that's what I was just saying. Like on one hand this, on the other hand this. Like on one hand, they can be combative, a bit egotistical even. Um, stubborn. even dispassionate at times. But then on the other hand, they're also your wish. <laughs> or, um, yeah, on the other hand, they somewhat fulfill you. They, um, you still can't imagine um, being with another person. So, let's get their energy out and see. Person external to Aries, how they view Aries. Person external. Whoa. Three cups. All right, I see a definite second scenario here, but let me get all the cards out. I'm going to break this down, okay? Um, Aries, the person external to you sees you as <laughs> they want to reconcile. What's interesting is you both got the three of wands and how you see each other. So for most of you watching, I do feel like you're at somewhat of a distance from this person. If you're not in a physical distance, then I feel like at times, like your partner goes distant. They like go ghost, but they're sitting right next to you. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> um, 
but for the majority of you, like you're not actually physically near this person. Um, because I see you both waiting on communication from each other, which is interesting. Oh my gosh. They got the two of pentacles. Same card, different deck. Aries, you got the two of pentacles in your overall energy. So they see you. They see you vacillating. They know that you have either too much on your plate or something that you're going back and forth about because they're aware of it. And the three of pentacles. So Aries, I feel like this person is watching you try to pull it together. <laughs> um, whatever that means. Okay. Like I really wanted to say that, like pull it together. I feel like the person external to you may want to say that to you. Get it together. Something like that. Um, also, uh, I do see an element of overindulgence here, particularly alcohol. You have the nine of cups and how you view them. And they have the three of cups. It doesn't have to be alcohol. I mean, it could be like overindulging in anything, you know, um, cigarettes, uh, shopping, food. I mean, whatever. For some of you, it's alcohol, though. I do feel like um, the reason why maybe you have, like, on one hand this and on one hand this is Aries because there's some sort of, uh, for a few of you, there's some sort of, like, addictive behavior involved. And I feel like when the other person external to you uh, drinks or overindulges, it causes, that's what causes the majority of the, uh, major conflict here. Okay. But yeah, the person external to you, you know, they see you also as wanting to work on this. So, um, yes, they see you vacillating, but I feel like they you know, they're still willing to work on it with you, you know, even though you kind of flip-flop a lot on them or they do you. So, Aries next steps. And again, I definitely see another scenario, so stay tuned. <laughs> um, because I'll go into that in a minute. Um, next steps for Aries. you got your own card out <laughs> so Aries I just I feel like there's going to be a lot of waiting here um, in your next steps it's like you're patiently waiting to get control over the situation but you're almost kind of disappointed in the progress so far because like I said there you know it's like um, it's you know things are still up in the air Um, I do feel like for some of you, um, there might be somebody external that is kind of blocking the, your progress forward. For some of you, um, you're going to end up blocking communication, um, with this person external to you or they, you, um, because of some sort of disappointing, yeah, some sort of disappointment here. Because Aries, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and then you have the Emperor, but in the reverse. So, um, not, you 
uh, you don't feel like you're in con like you feel like you're vacillating on this, but you don't feel like it's even within your control, which is interesting. So you're like going back and forth. What's my next step? What's my next steps? But then also you feel like, eh, I don't even know if this is within my control. Um, so you don't end up doing anything or you just don't know where to begin almost. And so, yeah. Person external to you, next steps. Let's see. Person external to you, next steps. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Aries, the person external to you has the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, okay, the Knight of Swords as a whole lot of action, <laughs> and the Star card, some of you, it's an Aquarius, not all of you, I'll tell you all the Zodiac signs I see at the end, and the Moon, Wow. You know what, Aries? You might have turned your back on somebody because you simply could not make your mind up about them. I feel like some of you felt like the person external to you flip-flops too much. And, and you just kept kind of like vacillating on it. And so you kind of didn't know what to do. And there's somebody external to you <laughs> that is taking action. Okay, so I feel like, wow, yeah. I feel like this person in their next steps, they're definitely going to be communicating, coming towards you. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of intense energy, intense, intense emotional energy, intense passion, intense communication. <laughs> But, and I also feel like this person is coming towards you because they want some sort of healing or hope in the situation. I've been seeing this in Aries readings, that there's somebody external to you that wants to reconcile things. Okay. Um, but, but. Word of caution here, there's secrets involved. So, some of you have a few different people coming. Okay, let me break this down into scenarios. That was scenario one. If that resonated, perfect. Uh, you can stay tuned. I have two more now. <laughs> uh, if it didn't, okay. I definitely see somebody watching that has a three-party situation going on. Okay, you got the Three of Cups, you got the Three of Pentacles, then you have three action cards. Three, 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 three. Okay, then you've got the Juggler on both sides. So some of you watching are definitely in a scenario where you have a partner and somebody else, or they have a partner and somebody else. For some of you, it's both of you. All right. And Aries, you're trying to like literally juggle this and figure out what you're going to do here. And that would explain why there's two different energies. You might have one partner that is explosive, that might have some addiction problems or overindulgent problems that can be stubborn, immovable. And then you have another partner external to you that you've got your sights set on, or they you, and you're waiting on communication from them, and that's why there's two different energies here. And on the partner side, okay, they are um, 
I feel like for most of you, if this is your situation, the partner's aware that there's a third party. Whether that be the primary partner you're with or the person external, they're aware. Okay. Um, and this person external to you, I feel like I'm picking up the energy of not the uh, primary partner, but the one that's on the outside because I have the five of pentacles in their energy talking about being on the outside, being on the outside of somebody else's relationship. All right. <clears throat> and they know you're juggling. You know, but I feel like Aries, if, if this is your situation, um, you're going outside of your relationship because you're disappointed with your primary relationship. You've lost control over the path of that or that person. And there's a lot of immaturity going on or just terrible communication. And the person external to you is coming at you like hardcore with their emotions. Like, I love you. I want you. Talk to me. You know, <laughs> like, let's do this. But... The reason there's secrets involved is because this person is a secret. Second scenario. Okay. Uh, so if that's your scenario and their next steps, I definitely see that person coming towards you. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if you're going to be fully open to it though. Third scenario. Aries, you might be single. And that's why, you know, on one hand, you're this and on one hand, you're that. And if you are single, guess what? You have possibly three different suitors coming your way. Uh, one may be an air sign. One may be fire. One may be water. Um, but yeah, I feel like you have some options here, which would totally make sense as to why you are in the air. So, interesting, very interesting reading. Very interesting. For those of you in scenario one where you're not single and there's not a third party, I feel like the person external to you has three different faces they show you. Depending on, because like I said, <clears throat> this person flip-flops a lot. And I see that coming up in the next steps that they're going to like... Maybe communicate and be a little nasty and then come back and apologize and then be like, oh my God, I want you so bad. And then they keep like flip-flopping, you know, and it's because there's some like some something being withheld here. But um, overall, I do feel like this person wants reconciliation. I hope you guys are still following me. This is a complicated read. All right. Hopes and fears. Aries. Uh, two of swords in the reverse. Indecisive. Don't know which is the correct direction. Not feeling like you have all the information. I just said that. You know, of course, the hope is that you will arrive at a decision. Uh, person external to you, hopes and fears, two of cups. So... I feel like regardless if you're in situation one, two, or three, there's still may energy involved here. Um, and the person external definitely feels a extreme strong attraction um, to you, you, them. Let's get one overall message. Then I'll tell you what zodiac signs I see. It says, it's up to you and unlikely. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I was just saying. You know, you're going to continue to stay in this vacillating energy until you make a decision. All right. So if you want the situation to move forward, you have to be the one to push it forward or to end it if you're in the third party situation. Um, 
And then the unlikely fell out over the person external to you. So I get why you're vacillating. I think there's a lot of doubt shrouding this situation. Because I see a lot of indecision. And as long as there's indecision, you, you don't just stagnate yourself in this relationship. You kind of stagnate yourself like all of your energy all the way around. You know, so um, everything in life is interconnected. Our love life is interconnected with our careers, interconnected with our family, etc. So if you're stuck in one area of your life, it kind of like bleeds over to the rest. So, yeah, keep that in mind. All right, so I hope that um, resonated and made sense with you. Thank you for sticking with me. Here's the zodiac signs I see. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with another Aries. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini again. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Possibility of a water earth sign, but I don't have those emphasized. Could be any sign, guys. It's a general reading. I just let you know what I see here. So I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a private reading, you can book with me at tarotimewithdana.com, and that information is in the description box below. But I wish you all the very best, Aries. Namaste.